Hi guys, Susan here. Welcome to my quilting life. Hi guys. Oh, well, look back at Um, I'm still opening the last one. I started this and I didn't go as fast. Hope I'm not hitting anything. Um, so Scott went and got more mail. And I'm going to open the birthday blocks mail. And I figured I'd do this today while there's no kids right now um, and get it done. So for those of you who are new to my channel, don't forget to head down there, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, get notifications when I'm live, as well as like and share videos. So um, more mail has come in. Last night on my Insomniac Quilting series, I explained to you guys uh, about the whole mail thing and what happens. And all the rest of this mail was good. Um, nothing is even damaged or anything or even wrinkled. So I, I seriously came to the conclusion because I don't remember my last time I had mail stolen, um, what kind of envelope it was in. But I really think that these birthday card type envelopes are the ones that are, that thieves that work in the post office are more likely attracted to as in opening them because they're going to assume there's money. So please don't stop sending me things, guys. I really love mail. You guys know it. I like just even letters and postcards and so on. Um, you don't really have, have to send anything. I'm just saying I like it. And I don't want you guys to stop because now I've had two times of stolen mail and a couple times of very, very wrinkled mail. And one was open, but nothing was stolen out of it. So I don't want to detour, detour anyone from sending anything, but I just want to say if you're going to send cards like this, put it in these kind of envelopes because a card will fit in these envelopes and these get sealed so tight that someone at the post office is going to see someone else trying to rip packages like this open. So 100% I suggest just if you're going to send holiday cards, birthday cards, or anything now that you guys know my birthday and well, everybody sends, you know, cards for Christmas and so on. Um, just don't do it in these kind of envelopes. And if you did, make sure that it's not thick. But I would say I would avoid using any kind of card-like envelope. So, again, I'm going to say this name out loud. I don't usually say last names, but I'm really trying to find Carol Brumlow so that we know what was in here. Obviously, pretty sure it was a card and a block. So I really would like to know exactly um, so that the post office knows for, for, for future reference since I'm filing the grievance against them for the mail problem. So I'm going to go ahead and see who's here real quick. We got Vicki, Diane, uh, June, um, da -da 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 -da. Betty and Lacey. Hi guys. Good morning. It's uh, 10 17 in the morning here. So you guys just saw me less than 10 hours ago or 12 hours ago. Cause I was, I came on at 10 last night and stayed on till midnight. So, all right guys. Uh, just posted a tuffet on the group page. Okay, June, I'll go look at that as soon as I'm done. I haven't been on Facebook. I was like, well, I think I'll just open the mail now. Cause I was responding to YouTube stuff. And I was like, I'll just go open now and get this part over with. And yeah, so uh, 5.15 p.m. there. Holy moly. Um, just put on knee brace, dumb knee. Okay, Diane. Well, hopefully it helps. We're going to start with Debbie and her mail. All right. I'm going to start with the card, guys. Although I can see what the block is. I'm checking everything now. <laughs> um, warm birthday wishes. And it's a very pretty card with flowers. I'm going to read the card first and then I'll read what it says. Uh, sending you happiness today and throughout the year. Wishing with a warm birthday wishes. Happy thoughts of cheer. And then it says happy birthday Tiffany. I hope your special day is filled with love and lots of laughs. And it was. <laughs> It was a great day. Um, just remember, you're not getting older. You're getting better. <laughs> How cool. Thank you for all that you do to help and teach quilting. I hope the blocks can be used as I've only made three total. Oh, my, Debbie. So I'm getting beginner stuff. Here is a label for each block I made. Sorry, the block is 
aren't perfect. Why do you guys say that? Stop saying that. It is perfect. Trust me, it's perfect. And it's going to go in the quilt no matter what. So um, I finally gave it a shot. You made it look so easy. <laughs> so I gave it a try. As for labels, though, I would let you place them where you want. Uh, that you made a big difference in my life. Thank you, my friend, Deb. Sorry, didn't make it for your special day. And so she in, enclosed two little labels with her name and stuff for me to put on the blocks. So let's see what she sent. Well, Debbie likes flowers and peach, or I think that would be a pink or a pinky peach. And this is the shoe fly block. I can tell you looking at it. And the flower background is black. Yeah, because that's not navy. Sometimes they're navy and they look black, but that is black with pink and purples and greens. And it looks like some kind of like lacy look, like a lace, you know, in the background of it. Very, very cute. And it's put together amazingly for a beginner. So I don't know what you're talking about, Debbie. <laughs> and then we have Churn Dash. I guess a lot of you like churn dash just like me. Something simplistic like this looks so cool. I don't know why it just does. So again, we have on this one, it looks like that same peachy pinky color. And this one has peach, peach background. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of like a half paisley looking thing almost with blues and again, black background. So it's very cute. Oh, let me hold it again the light so that you can see. So we got churn dash with some flowers. So awesome, Debbie. Thank you very, very much. And I guess while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and I know I haven't pressed them yet, but I'll just add them to the wall. Even though they don't have the names on them, I will just keep this envelope right there so that I know that one goes to that. All right, this one came from, I have no idea, international. So this came from out of the country. This is a very, very strange envelope. <laughs> it has layers. <laughs> All right, so this one came from out of the country. And here is a card first. Try not to ruin all these envelopes. This thing is sealed. Woo wee. Come on. There we go. <laughs> This one's really sealed, and it feels like there's glitter on it. Um, anybody new that joined? Hi, Betty. Um, got Vicky. Okay, I said hi to all of you guys. All right, so let's see. Ooh, this is cool. What's this? It's got lots of glitter on it. I don't even know who it's from yet. Today is all about you. Now, this is a really rad card, guys. Look at that. It looks like a drawing with added glittery hat. Now that is pretty darn cool. To Tiffany, happy birthday. Hope you have a lovely day from Michelle in Berkshire. It could be Shire, Berkshire, UK or Berkshire, UK. Sometimes I can't read people's writing, but it is from the UK. Ooh, look at that. So it's from out of the country in the United Kingdom. And that was all that's in there. Look at this. Now, this is pretty awesome. There is a paper in here with a woman with a wolf. That is so cool. Like, you guys know me. I love wolves. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? And the block. Oh, blocks plural. Look at that. There's two. Michelle likes red. We could see this one right here. 
and flowers and ready for this grandmother's flower garden she likes hexes and looks their life very small look at that guys Let's see if i can't get it closer with the color white and some flowers isn't that just adorable yes it does look like it uh. so there's one oh look at this one guys Here's the same thing, except she fussy cut the blocks, and look how they ended up. There is a sewing machine in the center, and all of the bigger circles around it, and smaller ones around the edge. So she definitely likes the color black and white, too. Look at that. I wish I could do it like this. This is, the, she probably did this with English paper piecing, as in the actual English paper piecing. So, oh my, my, my. I love it. Look at that, guys. And I can't say that I have favorites, but this sewing machine is definitely very, very cute. And I don't know if this block is signed because it's black, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to know that they're from the same person. It's pronounced Barkshire. Let's see. I'm going to look at it again. B E R K S H I. And I can't tell if that's an R or an N. But you're probably correct, Barkshire, like dog bark, or share the singer. <laughs> Do you know a Gary Mercer from Marquet, Michigan? Hi, Lisa. All right, so we're going to put these up because one of them is signed. The other one is not, but I can tell that they're from the same person. This is so cool. I love this, this whole wolf and a woman thing, guys. This is this is going to go in a frame and hang on the wall. So I'm going to keep that separate for now. So thank you, Michelle. That is so awesome. All right. We're going to move on to Bonnie in Bethel Park, PA. Let's read the note first. Hello, Tiff. This block what? was pattern easy castle on the wall now i'm a beginner but i think i can follow directions the pattern was really messed up so i improvised we all do that um still some errors but i tried hope you like from bonnie Ooh, look at this looks like bonnie gravitates towards children's prints in some way or prints that read children's prints this is a pretty neat block. So she likes purples, blues, pinks, striped fabrics, flower fabrics, and look at she got the bird in the center. Isn't that adorable? I know I gotta press all these still, and I don't see her name written on any part of this so far. Oh, it's rodent on there. Okay, good. So I could just go ahead and put it on the wall so I don't lose whose was whose. So it looks like Bonnie likes all these things. It's so cute. And she she needs to tell us what this block is called because this is pretty cool. It's small pieces. So for a beginner to work with small pieces like this, I give you props out there, Bonnie. Because this is definitely a definitely a hard feat to do blocks this with these little tiny pieces. Because some people don't even like to do that. So that is pretty darn awesome. My computer's talking to me. We'll put it up here because it's signed. I don't know how I'm going to even get um, Betty's name on the other one because it's black fabric, but I will figure that out. Or Michelle's. What was that, Michelle's? Yes, that's right. All right, so we're going to put that out of the way. Trying to keep all the mail together. All right. I could just say that this is from Barefoot Bay, Florida. There's no name on it. Dear Tiffany, I was watching some of your videos for your birthday quilt and I realized I cut my block nine inches instead of nine and a half. I've included two white strips with my name. City and State, are you able to attach these to my block to make sure it's nine and a half? Thanks, Anna. Oh, so Anna sent some strips. So I think there's another. Oh, it's right here. There's another mail from Anna. So hold on two seconds. Let's get this open first. Hi, 
Hi, Tiffany. I found this orphan square in my stash. I cut it down to nine inches. I hope you can use it for, rebirth, for your birthday quilt. Um, blue is my favorite color. Peacock pattern is for Florida, and the various colors represent the ocean. Oh, there's a card. Let's do cards first. Couldn't let, couldn't let flutter by. Anna, oh. Anna is very generous. She sent me a hundred dollars, guys. Without a wish for a beautiful birthday, Anna. Oh. See, some things make me cry. <laughs> I'm only human, guys. And this is the card. It has butterflies on it. Definitely can be used. And it looks like it's a mail that hasn't got opened because they didn't know that there was money in it because it was sent in a big envelope. So that definitely proves there that the big envelopes don't get touched. Oh, okay. So let's move on to her block. Anna, thank you. <laughs> well, she likes blues, like she said, and it looks like she likes the pineapple block. So that second piece of mail that I opened first, is two strips with her name on them to go on the outside of this to go with the block to make it bigger. So, um, Anna, thank you. And I will put this together and get it to the right size. <clears throat> For now, I'm just gonna hang it on the wall and let's see if I can't, I'll just have to remember because I have a hard time remembering. It's not my fault. You didn't have to do that, Anna. I don't expect that, but I know she said it in the comments that it was for appreciation of my channel and my videos. <sighs> I better separate this now or I'm going to forget that too. Look up there. All right, so all this goes together. We'll just say it was all one. So, Anna, thank you. It is very much appreciated, and it definitely goes to good use. All right, so I'm going to separate that one up there. I already have next. I think this is Susan, because I recognize the last name. We're going to find out right now. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me read these. So, Michigan. Uh, Debbie. Hi. Hi, Debbie. Um, cool. Okay. Sorry for everything. How sweet of her. I'm like you. I would cry. <laughs> she took a huge risk sending cash in the mail. I don't. Well, that's what last night's rant was about because even though it probably didn't have cash in it, it probably. They probably assumed that there was cash because the, the birthday type envelope or holiday type envelope makes, and if it was thick, they probably thought it. And then they're so, I mean, if you're going to take the money or anything or take anything, if you realize there's no money, put it all back because for all you postal workers that are thieves, put it back. After, if you're going to just take the money, take the money. You don't need to throw the rest of everything away. It makes no sense. Somebody was looking forward to that, like me. I was really looking forward to that. This stuff is making my day, my week, my month, my year. So people that work at the post office and, and are thieves, you guys suck. I'm pretty sure you'll never see this video, but I'm saying it out loud. You suck. Money, fabric. Yes, money. I don't know if it's going to completely go for all fabric, but I definitely have some fabric plans that I need to uh, get. <laughs> I need to back quite a few of my quilts, and I need 108, so I definitely will be using it to get that. We will see Thanksgiving. Let's see. All of the blocks will create an amazing quilt. Yes, they're going to be an amazing, it's going to be an awesome quilt, like the bestest ever. 
no matter how it gets put together. Okay, so we're going to go with this one. I'm pretty sure this is Susan because the last name. All right. Oh, she put it in between cards so that it wouldn't bend. That's a pretty good idea, actually. And I can actually use these to bolt fabric. <laughs> All right, there is a card first, says Miss Tiffany. <laughs> we got a rooster calling <laughs> with some sunglasses. <laughs> I need to laugh. <laughs> uh, Miss Tiffany, happy birthday to someone who's clucking awesome. <laughs> uh, have a happy birthday. This is the Ohio Star, one of my favorites. And because I'm from Ohio, LOL, I can't. Uh, wait to see all of the blocks in your quilt. Keep up the good work. You inspire a lot of people. Susan from Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, Susan, I kind of figured, look at that Ohio star. She likes red and she likes white. And the red isn't just any red print. It's uh, like a grunge. I don't know if you guys can even see that on the camera, but it's like a grunge. So that's the Ohio star and she signed it. So I'll go ahead and hang it on the wall while I'm right here. I have this big, huge disaster now of all my pieces. So thank you, Susan. <laughs> it's very, very pretty. It's not really grunge. It's like a, I don't know what to call this fabric, but it looks really cool. It has, it has like a little print in it, but it's not. It's like lime, so definitely cool. <coughs> so actually, we have two Ohio stars on the wall so far. Who else sent an Ohio star? Um, hold on, I'm looking. So Jody and Susan, both of you guys live in Cincinnati, Ohio. Maybe you guys can get together and hang out because Jody's is right there on the end and it's an Ohio star and she wrote Cincinnati, Ohio. So jo Jody and Susan, this is the best way to make friends guys um, and get together with other quilters. So definitely think about it. Guys. Next time you guys are on at the same time when I'm on. Um, yeah. All right, here we got Bonnie. I think you're here, Bonnie, aren't you? Oh my God, there's so many things to go through. Well, if you are or if you're not. Okay, we've got a happy birthday card, which I will read first on the birthday part. Dear Tiff Mayer, Birthday and the coming year be filled with happy times, wonderful possibilities, and many dreams to come. Best wishes. Love, Bonnie. Um, an elephant with the tusk trunk up is supposed to bring good luck. A big thank you for all you've taught me. You are a master quilter. <laughs> I wouldn't say master, but I'm definitely ahead of my own time, I guess. Now, this is adorable. So, an elephant with the trunk. What is it? Okay, hold on. i got to read that again. With the trunk up is supposed to bring good luck. Oh, and here's the card. It's blue. Which kind of goes without saying that she likes blue here. And she likes elephants and applique. Look at that, guys. Isn't that adorable? So she fussy cut out some paisleys from fabric and some flowers and applique all of it onto a white square. I will have to press this because it's been folded and applique. Oh, I have to tell you guys a secret about applique. Applique, if you haven't removed the fabric from behind what you've applique, it's going to be so stiff. Once it folds and has wrinkles, they really rarely come out. So what I'll have to do is spray some water on here to help the um, fabric go back to its, its original position. But um 
So if you have to fold blocks to put them in a storage container or something, just make sure that you do them somehow where it's not on the applique because it's really hard because it's double layered of fabric now. So I will have to spray with water to get that out. But isn't that adorable? She likes using tone on tone in the background because you can see that's white with white polka dots. Isn't that cool? Bonnie, you did amazing. This is awesome. So we're going to have some good luck in my quilt too. Maybe it'll help with my MS problems <laughs> and all the pain and issues. All right, let's put this out of the way. I'll hang this up. Oh, so adorable. She even put the eye on the, on the elephant. Okay, looks like we have two more. We have Mary in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Look at that. That is a weird name for a Fort Recovery, Ohio. Is it a place we go to recover? All right, let's read the card first. If I can get it out. See, that's another thing about that mail. I probably didn't say it. Maybe I did say it last night. It's really hard to get a card. M most people, I'm going to stick this back kind of in. Most people stick a card in an envelope with the opening, which is this part, facing down. So they, you saw, it's hard to get them out. They would have had to really pry that out. Who does not see that in the post office? I, I just don't do, I don't understand. So we have a hummingbird on this one with some flowers. Very adorable, and it is a write yourself card. Uh, hi, Tiffany. Hope you had an awesome birthday. Here are a couple blocks. One of your favorite color, purple, and one of me, my favorite color, orange. So she did my color and her color in two different blocks. Later notice I signed in the seam allowance, so I signed up higher. Just love your teaching and skills and the beautiful quilts you end up with from Mary. <clears throat> Well, we've got a purple churn dash, guys. <laughs> a lot of you like purple. This is so crazy. Oh, she put my favorite color, but a lot of you like churn dash as well. Something about the block. And I see where she signed in the in the um, seam allowance, so she signed in the middle instead. That's fine because it's as long as it's seam. Because I I have a hard time remembering things. So we got purple and white, which is so adorable. And for her, she loves orange, like she said. So she likes orange and green and brown. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? And it's a four patch. A lot of you know what a traditional four patch is. Four patches are fun to just put in anything, especially for filler blocks. So there we have it from Mary in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Looks like I'm going to have to go there to get better. <laughs> and these are signs, so we'll just go ahead and put these on the wall. And I'm running out of space now. <clears throat> it's good that I have only one male left. <laughs> All right, so we'll put that there. Try not to lose all these separate pieces for the ones that are not signed. And the last one is from S. Ballard. And Twin Falls ID is Idaho, I think. Ooh, look at that. We have it in a nice baggie. All right, so this is Sue Ann. I don't fill a card, I just fill blocks. So, looks like she wrote little post-it notes. Four blocks. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way so I can show it. Birds in the air block. She likes sunflowers, yellow, orange. So this is the birds in the air block. Sunflowers and um, plaid with orange, green, and blue, and yellow. And uh, a little bit of red. So that is adorable. This one's called Birds in the Air. And it looks like she marked every block with a post-it note. So we are going to be able to know 
what Sue Ann um, likes just by the little post-it notes that were with it. She didn't sign them all, so I probably won't. There's four. I'll probably just um, sign them for her. Uh, we've got bow tie block. So it's a traditional block, and we got reds and pinks with some flowers. So she likes red, pink, and flowers. So there's that. Definitely really, really pretty. So the bow tie block. Just put that, up that. Although I know what the bow tie block is. All right, we have log cabin, which I know what that is. And it looks like more sunflowers. So we know the Suan likes sunflowers. That is probably her favorite. We got some pumpkins in this. She also likes that plaid with the orange and yellow. So definitely likes the bright, cheery colors. We got a log cabin here. Things that I can't forget because I know what these are. Oh, there was a card in here. Let's read the card before we get to the last block. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Tiff. Um, here are my blocks for you. Uh, for you, they are my favorite log cabin. That's my favorite blocks. Sunflowers and blues, reds, pinks are very me. Vintage style is my favorite. Enjoy. Sue Ann from Twin Falls, Idaho. Also, I love cats. That is awesome. I love cats too because I have cats. I can't get it back in there. And she sent a look at this. She does uh, the quilt cupboard. So, for those of you who want to know, Sue Ann Ballard, you guys see her on here. Does custom long arm quilting, aprons, vintage retro style quilts, hot pads, baby items, tote bags, and much more. So if you guys are in the Twin Falls, Idaho area and you need some long arm quilting and or any other things, we can go to the Quilt Cupboard. You can also find her on Facebook at the Quilt Cupboard. So there's her business card. I don't want to hold up too much because it might have her house address on it. So I don't know if that's a building or a house. I'm just going to leave it at that. She has a business. So for those of you, contact Sue Ann if you were in that area and need um, some stuff done. Next is Log Cabin. Again, but different. Put together differently. So she likes blues and flowers again. All these are flower prints and red and green, just like everything that was in that other print, just in a little bit more of a darker shade and spread out in a log cabin. Very pretty. Definitely some vintage in here. I think I have this. I have one that looks like the print. Probably in my vintage prints. <laughs> I have a lot of vintage prints. So there's that. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm going to put that back with it. And I'll have to sign hers before they go on the wall. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. So thank you, Sue Ann. And that is it. I did them all. So let's read some comments. <clears throat> All right, where are we? Holy moly, this goes up. Okay, so we got, Lisa said that those were an amazing quote. They are, I saw that. Deer hunters in the woods and deer came in town for a beer. <laughs> Lacey put some chickens. Ohio red. Okay, so Shelly says Ohio. It is red the state color? I know every state has like a color, a bird, an animal, a reptile, a block. Uh, every state has a something. Uh, I thought it, but I didn't say it. <laughs> Have not seen Bonnie. Good morning, Shelly. Hi, Diane. Too cute. Pretty cool. Really cool block. Yep. Purple and pink. Uh, the quilt is going to be good size. Yes, it is. So, so far, these little throws that everything is hanging on, let me turn the camera up so that you can see most of it now. These little things that they're um, fleece blankets. That I'm hanging everything on. So those are just little laps that are like, I don't know, 50 by 60, somewhere in that range. Um, 
So it's definitely going to be good size. And with sashing, it's going to, it's going to be one of those things that fits on my bed perfectly <laughs> or hangs on the wall. I'm loving it here. I'll move my head out of the way so that you guys can see all of them so far. There's not a hundred blocks yet, but let's see. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So there's 50 blocks so far. So, and some of you are still sending them in. <coughs> so if I get to a hundred, that's a pretty good size quilt. That'll be almost, it'll be a really good size queen size. Cause I'll be able to go eight across by 10 down if I get 80 full blocks, which is perfect size. <clears throat> when do I plan? I plan to sew them all together in December and I plan to quilt everything in December and I plan to have everything done in December. So not very much longer. Hopefully they all come in. I know there'll probably be some stragglers. So if the stragglers show up in December um, while I'm putting this together, then all stragglers will be put into the back of the quilt. Um, if that makes any sense, I'll because I won't have it ready for the long arm if I'm still piecing the top together. So the stragglers will get thrown in on the back of the quilt and then I will load it on the frame and quilt it. And I'm going to try to do all of that in video, whether it's live on the assembly part and then the long the long arm stuff will have to be done in on a, a recorded video because or live on um, Facebook and then I can transfer the, I know how to transfer my Facebook videos in the group to YouTube now I just haven't sat and done it all because you guys know me I hate computers I hate technology but I know how to do it so I can get that done it just takes a while to do so yeah I plan to do all of it next month from putting it all together uh, getting the sashing and the cornerstones if I even use cornerstones we'll see and I just need to think of a neutral color that will go with everything, putting it all together. So there's that. That's everybody that sent something so far. And it's looking like I won't have to add the blocks that I've made. So that's going to make a separate, um, what is it called? A uh, sampler quilt that'll hang also in here because it won't be something that'll get used. So it'll make a sampler quilt. And what I will do with the sampler quilt is if you guys see a block I can go through it again and make a whole entire quilt out of something like that or whatever so it just gives you guys ideas of the things that we've made on here or I can d direct you to the video where I've made that specific block so I bet it I can't concentrate on anything else well I have to concentrate on other things guys but I'm definitely so excited to put all this together um I'll have to go through and check all the sizes, add fabric to each and every one of them that needs to be either upped or trim things down in hopes that it doesn't ruin the block. And if anything, I know I can change the size of my sashing per block so things won't sit correct. And I'm kind of thinking that's what I'm going to do is when I attach all the blocks together, I'm kind of thinking of wonky sashing. So the ones that are too big or too small actually work with it but that requires a lot of measurements <laughs> so hopefully we can figure something out but it is going to be nice very nice all right guys so that's it and anna oh my goodness woman you did not have to send money but for those of you who know in the future if you're going to send money um there's a link you can just send it in my gofundme um and I appreciate that you guys appreciate me making these videos. I don't get paid by YouTube um, and probably never will <laughs> because it's taken almost, you know, over a year, almost two to get to a thousand subscribers. And today I hit 702. So I don't make enough content to be really popular. And that's okay. It doesn't bother me. I have MS. You guys know I have a lot of downtime. So it'd be really hard to keep up with the demands of making videos with a lot of downtime. And that makes me have to rack my brain more. It's not something I like to do having all the issues I have, plus the kids running around. I would never leave this room and that wouldn't be good because I have family and I have things that have to be done. So if you guys do want to send money, just remember, try not to send it through the mail. And if you do, 
somehow wrap it up into a bazillion different envelopes inside of an envelope because these big, huge envelopes, they get taped and sealed. And this is why I cut them because look at that. That glue, that stuff's hard to remove. So that's going to be noticed at a post office if someone's trying to rip that. Unless someone carries a pair of scissors or something to cut everything up with, I would say use those kind of envelopes. I think it's called a manila envelope. That's the, the color of it. Uh, 702 is great when it comes to subscribers. It's not easy. You're doing awesome. I'm trying. <laughs> Please like. Um, thumbs up, guys. All right. Well, I came on for this. And I do appreciate all the comments. You guys loved my um, uh, Gingham Dresden. Uh, I just got, I'll come back on another Insomniac video and put that together. It's waiting for its next stage. Um, it came together. I could have put it together. I didn't think about this because now it takes 44 blocks. I could have put it together in quarters by adding 11 pieces per quarter. So now I know that. So when I redo the calculations and math, for the one that I've designed, the reason for the practice. Um, when I redo all those measurements, I will go ahead and um, take that into account because I want to put it together in quarters to make it easier because now this one I have to make a four patch and fix it, fixate it on there and somehow get it to stay straight. The other design, I want it to be able to sit in, in quadrants and then put the quadrants together after sewing them, because it's going to be really hard to go all the way around this thing, applique that big when I can just do big quadrants. So um, I'll have to get that math added into it. And then I will be able to figure out how to tell you guys how to make this um, template out of paper because I'm out of this stuff and I have no other way. I don't even know where you get it. So I'm pretty sure craft stores sell it. Other than that, Debbie. Uh, tip I see my blocks got there. I hope you don't mind attaching those labels. I wasn't sure how or where to place them. Oh, don't worry, Debbie. I will get that. They should be behind me. Right there. Right there. <laughs> so I will get those on there. Diane, you rock as a moderator. Yes, you do, Diane. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have a couple of you, but some of you haven't been on lately. That's so weird. All right, guys, so I'm going to get off of here and get to now watching kids because that's what's the next plan for the day. Although I would like to, even though I'm in loads of pain, I would like to go outside and work on the long arm, but that might be during nap time or later. So I appreciate all of you for sending in your blocks, and I look forward to more. And don't forget, all of you who didn't sign them, I'm signing them for you because I want it to be seen so that my brain can look at it and say, oh, yeah, that." That, that woman did awesome. This is a great job. I could think in my brain, you know, who did what, and I'll never forget. So don't forget that I'm doing that. So I thank you guys all for joining me. Don't forget if you are new to my channel, head down there, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, get notifications when I'm live, like my videos, share them, as well as if you are planning on sending a birthday block, get it in before November 30th um, because I want to put this together in November. And for those of you who are new and joining my birthday blocks, my birthday was November 4th. I'm having everyone send me a block. You could send more than one because that's what's been happening. But you could send a block or more than one. And they need to be on your table nine and a half inches so that it finishes at nine inches in my quilt. So I'm making a quilt for myself to feel closer to you guys so I could either wrap myself in it or it hangs on the wall. And I can feel closer to you guys every day because you guys really inspire me to keep creating as much as I can. So and you guys make me feel amazing. And having you here with me in block form with your colors, your styles, your likes, just makes it all the more better. So um, yeah, so make sure it's in before November 30th and everything will be good. So bye everyone. I'll see you next time.